All right, guys, here we are at the boat, and today we're going to do a little project. And it's a project that a lot of people have been asking about, and there's no videos anywhere on YouTube uh, taking off these seats off. There's screws on the underside, and there's hidden screws for this part here, and that in there. You can't find the screws, you can't see anything. So today, we're going to go ahead and take them off and go through that ordeal and show you where to look to and where to find those screws and bolts that you need to take off to be able to un unassemble them. Uh, we're getting ready to reupholster them and here we go with this installation or uninstallation. So stay tuned. All right. This is the area where you're going to find all the screws to unscrew that lounger upstairs. And uh, there's three screws on the top here. You'll see the uh, silver uh, Phillips head, three of them. And then this other three uh, nuts, uh, lock nut under there. You, it's straight up in, in there. Once we take it off, I'll show you. And then the last two that goes on the bracket for the uh, flip back on the lounger is right up there. You see those two right there. And that's basically it. And uh, once um, we get in there, we'll show you the details. And of course, inside here, there is three screws in there that uh, good old Bayliner did not give us any access to it's inside this little box right here and uh, the screws are at uh, the backing of the um, lounger the uh, back part backrest all right in here we have the first sets of screws that we're going to take off there's one here that we already started taking off there's another one over there and there's one down at the end there when you come into the underside here of the um, mid cabin, you'll see the screw heads or Phillips, and uh, there's three of them there. I don't know if there's another one here. I think there's another one here. Yeah, yeah there's another one there. So it's cut, it's like three or four of them there, and uh, all you have to do is just take them off, and then the um, big main lounger uh, will start coming loose. All right, let's see what happens here. Let's go. All right, now here after we took off those three screws from underside you can see that the whole thing is already loose so now we have to figure out the screws that are under here somewhere or at the end here so i'm going to take these uh, cup holders off and find what other, other screws are holding the other side and uh, over here we have the bracket and uh, that's the two screws that you saw in the mid cabin uh, for the bracket uh, that makes the backrest go forward and, 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 and back on the lounger and you see those two screws right there those are the ones you have to take off and then this whole thing just pulls up completely and uh, that's basically it and then over there that's the second one there that's the one on the uh, starboard side and right below it you see that round cover you take that off right there and you can stick your hand behind it and uh, using a small ratchet you could un unscrew the uh, lock nut behind it all right we finally took off everything here and you can see 18 years worth of dirt and leaves and stuff that stayed under there that you can't get to unless you take off the seats and that's something you're not going to do every day but um, we were able to take it off and uh, we're ready to do the back now so this is the back here and there's um, some little bolts running on the back there and the access is through that mid cabin there's a little panel you take off with two screws and you could see them back there so we're gonna do that next all right and the back side of the seat the back there's a bolt right there with a nut and there's one right there and I think there's one more after that and that backing should come off as well so we're gonna get to that now 
All right, here's the uh, situation. We have one screw we took off there with a nut on the inside. One here, one right there. And then look at the big, this space from here to here. Look at the big space from here all the way to here for the last one to be taken off. And then to top it all off, it's even worse. There's two wood screws behind this here that I was able to rip off because it's just wood screws. But this one here, that one is going to cause some damage somewhere. If it's not to the fiberglass on the boat, it's going to be to the backing wood on the uh, seat backing. So, bay liner, big screw up. Big, big, big screw up. That's why there's no videos on YouTube anywhere showing anyone taking this thing off because there's no way other than to rip it to shreds somehow. And this here is going to have to be broken off. Because there's no access to it. What a screw up. Alright guys. Here's the problem we have right here. Right there. Is the last bolt we took off. And then there's one more. Going forward that way. And then when we get to that one. There's a piece of wood in the way. And it's solid. It's not like just put there it's solid you can't break that if you take that off you break something you could you know lose the integrity of the structure I don't know what this is but it's there for some reason that piece of wood there doesn't allow you to get to the other two screws or three screws from that end there so I don't know how Bayliner or any other boat company they do things like this all the time it's easy for them to put things together because everything is open but once you have to service these things you can't get to them I have no idea in this planet how anybody can construct a boat with no access to things that need to be taken off in the future. It just makes no sense. And yeah, I'm a little ranty right now because it just pisses me off that a boat company would do some stupid things like this instead of having a little opening there or something that you could access those screws. It just makes no sense. All right. Sorry, 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 Bayliner. But you really up this whole thing. You should have done better. I don't know what the hell you guys were thinking here. All right, here's the two front ones with the uh, wood screws inside there somewhere that you can't get access to and this is the other one in line with the other ones we took off in in a place and there's a piece of wood inside here covering top to bottom and it doesn't get to this point here can't get to this point there's no way to get to it no way to get to the other two right there so bayliner if you're seeing this video Think about giving people convenience of servicing their boats in the future. All right, the hacksaw worked. We're able to uh, cut it off. All right, so we're done taking off this backing here. And now we have to go to this one here, the bench on the transom. All right, removing the uh, bench seat at the uh, stern locker uh, it's really simple. All you have to do is open the storage and right in there you'll see a line of screws and all you have to do is use a screwdriver and on the other end you need another person with a uh, ratchet and holding the lock nut on that end. Uh, there's only three that I found uh, with the lock nut. Uh, the rest of them inside the boat is just screws directly into wood. All right, while my son is cleaning up up there and uh, here's the bench seat the, and believe it or not the bench seat looks much better than all the rest of the seats I guess it's because it's folded down so the Sun doesn't really hit it straight up and uh, the backing here this is the back uh, it was a little bit messed up here but it didn't look it wasn't broken or anything and the uh, backing of the uh, lounge the L lounge 
uh, the underside here, the zipper ripped right off. It's been like that for almost a year. And then the uh, L lounger. Uh, that one's one of the, the worst ones. As uh, the edges here were getting really bad and we have a nice rip going on right there. The rest of it was okay. But uh, yeah, it just looks really bad. So I'm glad that we're able to take it off. We'll have to deal with some repairs uh, when we put it back in because we have to mess up three screws that we couldn't get to and uh, but it shouldn't be a big deal if we need to use uh, some silicone adhesive we'll use that instead of screws and the positions where you can't get to so here we go getting reupholstered after 18 years of use out pretty easy 18 years of dirt hair crud beer whiskey vodka gotch vodka gin I got everything you want 18 years worth that's all we have here we just finished taking everything off we cleaned the whole surface everything is clean ready for the uh, seats when they come back from the upholster uh, on the back there we also covered those holes so in case it rains and it looks like it's going to rain uh, at the moment so uh, we put all these tapes on there just to cover all the holes so no water will get through into the cabin there the mid cabin and uh, we're ready now for the the seats to come back and reinstall them and we'll wait on that coming soon And this one here is the last one for the lounger. What? Did I grab it? All right, over here, this screw hole in this one here, and this one here, which is right at the end of the lounger there, those I had to cut off. This one I had to cut off and this one here I had to cut off as well. And then I just pushed the, the, the screw in there and it fell inside there. You could hear the noise that fell inside some box in there that you have no access to. And uh, what we're gonna be using to re remedy that is these little things here that they look like Christmas trees, kind of, and they're plastic. And uh, once they go in the same hole, we may have to make the hole a little bit bigger, 5 16ths in this case, with a drill bit and then all of these will go in to those holes that we have no access. The one, two, and three. Okay, this one looks like it has the uh, size already. And this one, I think we need a little bit more. And this one. All right. Now we're ready to uh, put that backrest on there and see if everything lines up well. All right, guys, we're also using 4200 adhesive sealant so we can put on all these holes here before we put that back rest on there we want to be able to, to uh, waterproof those holes in case water comes down in it it doesn't go into the cabin below and uh, we'll go ahead and start putting these on each hole and the way I'm going to do it is going to put some into the hole all right and then we're going to put some around the exterior of the hole there and then the next one a little in the hole and then we're going to do a line all the way around it there you go all right now we're getting ready to uh, put in the uh, backrest you can see the uh, studs here, the screw studs. They're sticking out and they're going to go into their respective holes. And um, what you're going to have to do is once you put it in place here, you have to push it downward onto the seat so the line of the hole will, will line up. Otherwise, they won't line up. They'll be a little bit too, too, too low. So you have to push it down and then put the, the, the um, screw in the hole. All right, here we go. 
All right, we just lined them all up. It wasn't really that bad. You didn't have to push it down too hard. So they all lined up and they're all ready to be pushed in in place. And the uh, plastic ones here are ready to be pushed in in their respective holes. Now we're ready to reinstall the three lock nut and washers inside the mid-cabin access panel. All right, everything is nice and tight there now. I think we did it. It's not gonna come off, no? Now that's me being really picky though. You know I'm always picky. But we're done. But we're never done. No, I know. Something else, <laughs> something new comes later on. And we already have a project that's coming soon. Uh, probably within the next week, week and a half, we're gonna have a, a video of the um, prop shaft seal that we need to replace. That'll be our next video, so stay tuned for that. And if you have any questions uh, about this installation, anything you need to know that I didn't show here, uh, just leave a comment below and we'll be happy to answer your questions. So uh, there's one thing that I've noticed, there is no videos on YouTube or anywhere showing the installation and the uninstallation of these seats uh, in the Bayliner 285 2004 model and it's probably the same thing on the other years as well because they all look the same and uh, here's the uh, seat already installed uh, we have the back that swings over to the other side all completed and we're done with the lounger and now that's the next one right there but that's the easy one Stay tuned. All right, and here we're eliminating the old brittle plastic. Uh, they turn yellow and uh, they break easy. Uh, cup holders from the armrest here on the lounger. So we're gonna replace them with stainless steel. I already did one here. And then the second one, I have to do the cuts here. And we'll do that next. All right. And this is uh, how we do that. We just find the round of the hole that's under there. We use a um, box cutter here and uh, cut a cross on, on that. And just make sure you don't cut it all the way to the edge. Uh, I cut it a little bit less than the edge so that way you won't see the cuts on those edges once you put the uh, cup holder in place. And now next, all you have to do is just grab it and squeeze it in place and that's it simple as that and they're definitely going to look much better than these here if you like these uh, cup holders the uh, stainless steel ones i have the uh, link in the description and um, you can get them on amazon there and Everything else is starting to look good. We're almost done. All right, the next thing that I'm gonna be doing here, since we installed it, we touched it, and of course we have little smudges here and there. And uh, when it came from the uh, upholster, uh, it has a little you know, fingerprints and smudges here and there. Uh, nothing that can be taken off without the stain remover. The mildew stain remover will take all stains off. Whether it's smudges or, or, or mildew, it'll take that stain right off. And uh, we'll just use a microfiber, spray a little bit on, on wherever it's stained and just pass it through and clean it up. And then after we are done with that, we go to this one here, which is the 303 protectant. This is the number one product for all these seats. So if you have new seats or old seats, and you clean them right after you clean them you have to use this to protect it from the uv rays uh, this uh, product doesn't let uh, dust and other stain uh, stay in in the uh, vinyl there and it protects it so that's the two things that i do and we're going to do that next guys 
this is the final. We're completely done. Everything is put back together. I just finished cleaning and protecting the whole surface of the new um, seats. Put in the two new um, stainless steel cup holders and finish putting all the screws back there and we're completely done this one is also protected with the 303 and we did a little cleaning and protection for the captain's chair so this project is completely done thank you so much for watching now is a great time to like and subscribe. All you have to do is click on the subscribe button below. It's free, and you'll be part of the Keys Boating Channel family. Thanks so much for your support.